Hello, today I'm going to show you how to grade a Blackboard assignment that has a secondary assessment rubric attached but no grading rubric. To begin, I have an example assignment here that I want to take a look at so we can see how it's set up. My assignment number three has two assessment goals aligned to it currently. You can see that indicated here in the active goals section. If we take a look at the assignment itself, you'll see that I also have a secondary rubric attached to it that's being used for evaluation purposes. This is indicated down in the rubric section where you can see the name of the rubric and what type it is. I want to take a look at this real quick so you can understand how I have it set up. The rubric itself is based off of a 20 points scale. The highest possible value a student can earn is 20 points and then obviously any lesser work will be graded accordingly. You can see here that I also have a points possible value of 100 points. This is for the assignment itself and will be reflected in the grade center grades that I enter. If we go ahead and take a look at a student's submission, I can show you the grading process. The first step of the grading process when you're using a secondary evaluation rubric, but no grading rubric, is to click on the pencil icon in the dark gray grading box. This lets us override the grade. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in a grade for the student, and then make sure you click on this green check mark box below. That will save the overridden grade into the grade center. The second part of grading this assignment is to complete the secondary assessment rubric. To do that, I'm going to click on this panel here to expand it, and then you'll see that I have the name of the rubric here. You'll also notice that this rubric is marked as used for grading, despite the fact that it was clearly marked as a secondary rubric back on the assignment option page. Unfortunately, this is a known issue right now with Blackboard, but you can ignore it for the moment. To complete the rubric, you can either click on the name of the rubric, or you can click on the button here to expand the rubric into its own window. I'm going to go ahead and click on the name and fill this out for the student. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click the Save Rubric button down below. You'll notice up above that the rubric has entered a new grade in for the attempt. Don't worry, the overridden grade that we entered first will be the grade that's represented in the Grade Center. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit so that you can see what I'm talking about. If we go to the full grade center, you'll see that the assignment attempt is in fact given that 85 points instead of the 97.5 that the rubric generated. Following these steps will let you override the grades and have an accurate representation of the student grades in the grade center. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact the help desk at 368help or at help.case.edu. When contacting the help desk regarding questions about this process, please make sure you mention that this ticket should be assigned to the Blackboard Outcomes group. Thanks for watching!